Finally. Tyler. Tyler, hello, how are you? How's it going? Oh, not too bad. Cell phone charger's back there if you need one. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You gonna enjoy this uh, nice weather before it gets bad? It's supposed to get bad? I don't, you know, I'm from California, so anything below 70 is bad. <laughs> I was about to say, this is pretty nice. This is really nice. It's going to be 61 tomorrow and raining, I believe. I'm okay with that. That's okay. fine. Okay. I get a lot of work done on those days because I don't have to go anywhere. Uh, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. That's <laughs> I lock myself in my house and I get in front of my computer and I don't leave. You know what? Honestly, I work from home when I'm not doing doing this and I don't leave because it's cold also. So I do get a lot of work done. I totally get yeah. what you mean. Everybody at work's like, damn, it must be raining there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it is. It is raining. <laughs> Every third day, <laughs> you're right. That's great. What do you work? Uh, what do you do for work? Uh, I do underwriting for an insurance company. Ah, uh, okay, cool. I Und specialize in med mal, so medical malpractice. Ah, uh, okay. And so you underwrite the insurance for medical malpractice. I do. So we insure the doctors, the hospitals, the mm. surgery centers, the home health care, the med spas, the massage therapists, anything that has to do with. A licensed professional touching somebody's body. Wow. For the most part. How about you? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I do. So I am a cloud infrastructure engineer. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I build servers and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have some friends that do that. Nice. Yeah, so yeah, that's my 9 to 5. And then when I'm not working, I'm a comedian, which is actually what I do this for. So I have a show. Where you perform? Uh, all over the city, so okay. like, I, I'm not famous, so I just do like open mics all over the city. Where, and, where are some places that do open mics for comedy? Oh, there's tons. There's tons. Far north. Um, I used to do a few in Andersonville, but those are okay. closed. Wrigleyville, Yuck Yucks, Laugh Club. Um, I was, recently went to the Laugh Factory nice. for a night. It was funny. We had a good time. Mm -hmm. It's just like two packed. You know, it's I prefer a smaller spot or assigned seating. Sure. I don't know. Sure. If you're not there waiting in line, yeah. you're pretty fucked. Right. Um, yeah, Laugh Factory has an open mic too, but it's like after 9 p.m., so you have to be... Uh, that's uh, fine. I don't yeah. have a problem with the timing. Yeah. Um, it was fun. We had a good time, but, mm -hmm. you know, we pulled up and there was a line wrapped around the block, and I was like, I... But that's good though, right? Yeah. It was a sold-out show. That's yeah. awesome, but it's... Yeah. It's hard when you don't get there 40 minutes early. Yeah, yeah. And then you don't see anybody because you can't see the actual stage. Ooh, yeah, because it's not a sign. You're just kind of out wherever, yeah. wherever you catch a seat. And when they're that packed, they'll start doubling people up. So you're sitting at a table with people you Oh, don't we know. were upstairs oh, okay. behind people. Okay. <laughs> it's like, yeah. It, it was okay, though. I was. It was fun. I, lo I like comedy. I prefer stand-up to improv. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people like Second City. Sure. I've been to my fair share of that, but I prefer stand-up. I, sure. I, I prefer that much more than improv. I get you. Yeah, I, I mean, Ozzy, as a comedian myself, I quite like stand-up. I do like improv also. Um, it's good, and it's yeah. entertaining, but it's just like a... It's, it's, this is trying to get me to take that, which is... Yeah, it's not going to happen. You'll probably take 18th Street. Yeah, so far just do that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I prefer uh, stand-up. I watch a lot of stand-up. Nice. So who are some of your favorite comedians? That's kind of hard. I, I will watch about any stand-up, honestly. Uh, yeah. I'll give everybody a shot. Yeah. I, anytime there's new stand-up on, like, Netflix or Hulu or YouTube, I just watch it all. I Absolutely. I grew up with my dad really liking it, so we listened to a lot of it in the car nice, yeah. back in the day. Yeah. So, yeah, but he was, like, old school, like, uh, what's his name, Carlin? I was going to say Carlin, yeah. Yeah, he awesome. loves him, so... I listened to a lot of that when I was younger. Uh -huh. My dad still listens, even the stuff he's listened to a thousand times. You know? Sure, sure. That's great to be able to get a laugh from that. And still, to still enjoy it. I'm a sucker. I unfortunately like if I watch a stand-up special one time, I remember it. I can't watch it again. I can't listen to it again. So yeah, well, I mean, you're a joke writer, right? Exactly. So you you're definitely analyzing it different than someone that's in yeah. that's just enjoying it for the pure laughter aspect of it. Exactly. Exactly. Now, are you uh, interested in getting into stand-up comedy, or, or do you no, just not like at all? I just okay. like to watch it. I mean, I like to laugh. Yeah, I sure. think I would prefer to. I just like live, uh, either comedy or music. Like I love to go engage. It doesn't have to be a 
a certain type of music. I like. I will go watch any live music as long as it's not metal because sure. I can't enjoy that. It's it's. Uh, I get why people like it, yeah. and it's it takes a lot of skill, and you. Uh, it's great. Like you're a musician. Like yeah. But it's just not something I can go and watch and enjoy. Sure, sure. I but understand. I will. Uh, I like all types of music. I like just engaging live with people that are that are performing is uh it's special absolutely i agree you're in a great city for it too i mean chicago yeah. there's always something going on for um, sure 100 percent. yeah yeah if you like open mics and you like seeing you know open mic stand-up comedy would they always need an audience like if you're there the audience is usually other comedians yeah um so anybody there just going to see and get the laughs that might be there i like uh, a lot of people that also like they may be stand up, but I like people that work the crowd. Yeah, sure. So it's kind of, I guess, like improv, but it's more of working the crowd and, yeah. and making cracks at people in the crowd and work and working with them in the crowd. I like right. that type of comedy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's like I want to go sit front show. row and I want them to crack on me. Like uh, I, yeah. I want that. You know? <laughs> of I, I course. Do. I want that. Yeah. No, of course. And that's the people up front. That's exactly what they know. That's what they're there for. You know, I don't think. Yeah. It, you pay extra for that seat, or you go sit in line early. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And you and you should know. Like to me, like, anybody that's surprised that you're getting made fun of, it's like you have never seen a comedy show. Yeah. You should yeah. not be here. Grow some skin. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. I love it. Yeah. So there's a there's a Facebook group. The face it's just like the new comedians, Chicago new comedians, and they're always posting where the open mics are. Okay. So if you want to see an I'm open actually mic, not on Facebook. Oh, that's honestly a better way to be. I don't know what other options there are. Though. I don't think I'm trying to think. It's right. You're you made the right decision not being on Facebook. <laughs> you really did. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any newsletters anymore. It's no problem. Yeah. But I'm trying to think because you're right. If 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 people are trying, because you know social media is inherently bad for you. It's just bad for your brain. It's by design to be addictive. If you're trying to get off of social media. How are you going to let people know and advertise? I don't. Yeah, think that's hard. Any, yeah. I mean, a lot of people, I guess, are on Instagram, but like, right? That's I don't the know. same. Yeah, it's it's actually Instagram is owned by Facebook. Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's it's the same. It's no separation, and it's designed to be addictive. It's designed to get you hooked, staring at your phone and hooked on it. So that's you know, the whole issue there. No, definitely. So have you? Did you never do social media, or did you wake up one day and say this? It, I haven't been on Facebook for probably ten years. Oh wow! Okay. I used to be on it, and then I just stopped. Sure. I just um, I don't know. Do you prefer MySpace? Uh, I did have a MySpace. Oh, yeah. I use MySpace. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm a very private person, so sure. I um. I have an Instagram, but it's on private. Yeah. Uh, the people that are on there that follow me, I know them. I yeah. Know there's no strangers. I I don't know. There's a lot of peering eyes and people with unnecessary opinions that I don't need to be, you know, I don't need their interjections. Hey, I totally get what you mean. You want to you wanna live your life and you can let people have a slice of it and say, hey, this is what I'm doing. This is my life. Yeah. But you don't want to hear any guff about it. I totally get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you're not happy for me in my life, then I don't, you know... Same goes for me with other people. Like, yeah, I'm just not. And then I also have a, like a lot of older people in my family. I I just don't need it. I don't need it. I don't sure. need it. Yeah, I have a lot I of the it. Catholic like, upbringing, so it's uh, that yeah. same. I got same twelve thing. aunts and uncles trying to chime in on my life, and oh, I don't no. need them. No. Anywhere near it. No. <laughs> I'm just good. Yeah, that makes sense. I get that. I get that. Are you from Chicago originally? Uh, no, but this is the longest I've ever lived anywhere. Oh, really? Okay. I've been here for 12 years. Wow. I was born in Florida, lived in Atlanta, lived in North Carolina, lived in New York City. We spent a year in Arkansas. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> I was in middle school, and okay. I still, like, blatantly remember the racism. It was crazy. Oh, no. Wow. We moved from New York City to Arkansas because my dad's job. Okay, and sure. And I... It, just being in middle school, I can remember the blatant racism and just like oh, classism and just it was just awful. It was sure. depressing. Yeah, that right. You're like you're going from a place like New York to a place like Arkansas. Yeah, for sure. That it huge step backwards. You're just like yeah. Night and day. It was oh, crazy. Wow. wow. Yeah. So you've been in Chicago for twelve years. Twelve years. That's pretty cool. So is this uh, home as far as you're concerned, or just yeah, I would say up? so. It's home. I don't think I'll be here forever. I don't. I don't want to 
retire here. Okay. It's the winters are not for me. I get. I don't that. want to grow old and have to be worried about slipping and falling on ice. Right. Yeah. Have Plus, it's expensive. Yeah. I don't want to have to deal with the property tax here <laughs> unless I'm renting to sure. somebody to pay for it. Right. Exactly. I feel like I'm gonna end up living in Central America or Mexico. Hey, those are great places to go. It's just more affordable. It's, and the quality yeah. of life is better. It is very affordable. I'm Mexican, so I'm all for either one of those. Yeah, my boyfriend is Mexican, so... Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. Nice. No, I, we go to Mexico often. Oh, that's awesome. Whereabouts? Do you go to, like, the touristy stuff, or is he in, like, one of the... Um, he's, uh... He, his family's from Zacatecas. Okay, Zacatecas. Um, okay. But I love all of Mexico, honestly. Yeah. I mean, I prefer not the touristy spots, but... Sure. I mean, we go to Mexico City every year for at least once. Nice. Wow. Um, it's just, I love it down there. The people yeah. are nice. The quality of life is just better. The food is better. I, like <laughs> I don't know. I like, everything is is yeah. affordable. Oh, yeah. You can go down there and just, yeah, no, yeah. it's great. Plus, it's always warm. It's always warm. The weather in Mexico yeah. City is perfect. Yeah. I wish they had less pollution. Yeah. They're working on it. They are working on it. Yeah. They, you know, no, adding more sure. greenery and, and all that. But that city's gorgeous. I would live there in a heartbeat. Sure. I tell the people at work all the time, I was like, we want some presents down there. I'm <laughs> I, ready to go. Nice. Whenever you need me to go, I'm there. Sure. And if you can work remote, I mean, do they are they do they not let you take the computer out of the country? Oh no, they do. Okay. Um but I keep telling them we need to start writing business down there. Yeah. We're trying to expand into Central and South America. Uh-huh. We're we write medical malpractice on a like a global scale. Nice. Okay. So we have offices in Singapore, Spain, UK, Very Italy, cool. Africa, everywhere. And we're trying to build out gotcha. the like LATAM market. So I was like, nice. let me know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're ready for it. That's we have great. a big office in Miami that's like, that's their main focus is to is to grow that business. But oh, nice. I'm like, let me go. Let me, let me do that. Put me in, Coach. Put me in. Put me in for yeah. sure. I'm ready to go. Oh, that's awesome. What do I need to do? <laughs> I like, let me put the bug in your ear. Yeah, no, that's great. And that would give you good reason. See, yeah, with the type of work I've done, I've, I've had a few government contracts, oh, and nice. they're like, you can't, you can't take it out of the city. Oh yeah, they don't or, care about that. I, I work remote from wherever I want to go. It does It's oh, not like awesome. a thing. Yeah, they don't even know. Honestly, oh, right? Half the time, yeah, half the time they won't. But if you work for the government, your, they know. your, your yeah. laptop will rat on you. Yeah. yeah, no, they don't care about that. Honestly, they're just like I. I had some friends that that were here in Pilsen that moved to Hawaii. Wow. And I went to Hawaii and worked for three weeks. Love that. And they had no idea I was just getting up at four o'clock in the morning and working <laughs> and getting off at like two p.m. Hawaii time. Yeah. And going to the beach for the afternoon, but they had no idea that I was working oh, from Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah, I literally, you know, when I did my meetings, I was just had the blur on. <laughs> you know, <laughs> they right. didn't know where I was. Yeah, they don't need. They didn't need to know. Yeah, they don't need to know. No, that's great. I love that, and that yeah, that makes sense. I see, and this is this is what I love with with that remote working, that the ability to do exactly that, to pick up and say I'm going somewhere else, um, and and see what that is. Um, I hope that's where the world is going. I was just talking to a guy who's an architect and we were talking about globalization and I, you know, he agrees that I think remote work isn't going anywhere. I think people are, are able to be productive. We're able to do the work. Um, so I think it is, it's going to be exactly that. If you don't actually have to be at the office, if you don't need it. I'm more productive at home. I agree. There's less people talking to me about bullshit. Yeah. No. And my pants slow me down. So not having to wear them. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I'm like, I'm always here. If you need to call me, just yeah. call me. I'm here. Like, exactly. It's not a thing. Exactly. And at one point, I one of my bosses was like, we're going to have to start going to the office. And I was like, why? Because you guys have to justify rent payments? Like, exactly. I was like, I looked at him and like, we're on good terms. I said, I'll stop being as productive just to show you that I'm less productive in the office. Because we are. We just are. And honestly, you know what? I saw a really funny meme that said that um, the only reason... Gen Xers want to go back to the offices so, that, so they can start having affairs again. <laughs> They're so bad. They give us like $100 a month to use on transportation to go to the office and they pay for our lunch every day. I still don't go. I'm like, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. No. I can cook at home. Yeah. Unless if, if you're not paying me to commute, like paying me to go there and yeah. like factoring in my time and letting me off at three, I'm not going to do it. Yep. Yeah. 
Well, have a good day. Hey, you too, Tyler. Be great safe. chatting. Thank you so much. Yeah, have a good day. You too, thanks. This just auto picking up people or what?